How's it going guys? So right now uh, this is pretty much a continuation that I actually wanted to make and regarding the refund that you guys are still having difficulties and troubles with it. Now I've gone and I have received bunch of bunch of comments and messages saying how the hell do I do it? This does not really make much sense. And a lot of you as well do get it and do understand what the hell to do exactly. So here I am, I'm actually going to be giving you the solution to the problem. I have finally located exactly where you might be able to access this front so you can actually receive your refund on your digital games that you have pre-ordered or even uh, bought on a PlayStation. Now there are some rules that you need to follow because there are some ways that you will not be able to receive your refund no matter what. I'm not going to be going into that right now, there's a specific video I have already made, check that out first then come back here and know how to do it exactly. Now, other thing as well I have mentioned in the previous video saying that I could not link the post below because a lot of you are not going to be able to access it because the link I have provided before was basically intended for Spanish people pretty much because I'm in Spain so it's going to be linked and based in Spain. Just a lot of people would not be able to access it for example somewhere in Europe like Finland, Sweden, does not matter, Germany. Hell, or a United States, all of you guys would not be able to go into that link. Or maybe in Australia guys as well, Russia, like Asia, anywhere, like you would not be able to access it. But now I have a solution. Here is the thing, link that you want to go in the end to. I will leave down in the description for this link, check it out, this is, will be definitely helpful. As soon as you click on that link, this is what you will uh, receive the information. Now, before we continue as well, I'm not sure if you would require to be logged in and signed in to be more exact on my PlayStation app on sign in. You can, right, you can see it right here anyway. So you can see I'm already uh, signed in and you can hear, see the logo. I'm not going to, you know, some safety reasons, I'm not going to show it. <laughs> but anyway, um, right now I'm on the European side, the European section. You have three options, North and South America, Japan or Asia. Wherever you are at, located, you will need to click on one of these. If you're already in Europe, if you're in India, Middle East, uh, Oceania, I can't pronounce that, Scandinavia, South Africa or Russia, you're good right here. You don't have to do anything. Now, after that, when you have this cleared out the way, you will require to uh, click on one of these two options, System and Access or PlayStation Network and Account. Obviously, you want to go for the second one. You want to receive a refund though. Next up, you go down lower, you will receive this kind of information. You're required to put in your name, you put it in, your real name now guys, seriously, the name that you have registered with. Next thing is select the subject and you will receive these following options. You would want to go for a refund request, obviously. <laughs> now sign in ID where you will be pretty much uh, responded with, will reply of saying have you received your refund, have you not received a refund and blah blah blah, that good stuff. I would definitely advise you to go with the same email that you have registered your PlayStation account with. Now if you have not registered with the similar um, you know, email and maybe you don't have the access, okay sure, just give it a try at least maybe with your email that you have now but there might be some difficulties in, in the future so I would definitely suggest to go with the same email that you use to sign in on your PlayStation. Next up is the PSN online ID, put in your online ID name, obviously. Put in its date of birth, now do not lie, just make sure you put the same date of birth that you have registered with your PlayStation. It could be quite a few, could be, uh, could be like you could have uh, faked your um, date of birth, could have put like maybe you're actually older than you're actually now, uh, or you could actually have the very same date of birth that you are actually are right let's uh, i'm i was born in uh july so i put in like july obviously right so you go like this what year you put in the year so 1999 maybe 1995 whatever 1995 i'll go with that right because i'm 23 so anyway uh that's me i have put in my real date month and year you're going to have to put in the same date month and year uh that you have registered with now this is important. The question, don't just type in saying I want this game to be refunded from my blah 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 blah. Don't. There's more to this than you're actually be expecting. You do will have to clarify and verify and just say what do you want to do blah blah blah. Get a refund and just say on this game specifically how much blah blah blah. All that good stuff. Anyway, you would have to go through this um, 
options options questions you're gonna have to go through this unfortunately you're gonna have to specify your online id again in the question you're going to have to put in the email that you use with the account as it says right here you're going to have to it's unfortunate maybe for some of you but this is just the way it has to go your date of birth um, as i mentioned try to put in the very same one that you have registered at first and what payment have you used as well that you could have actually added the funds into your account in the past you could have put in the g2e g2 or whatever that website called that you could have purchased some some of the 20 dollars 20 euros 50 euros 50 dollars wherever and you could have purchased it that way maybe you could have used the funds from your bank card just make sure you say which one could be an american express could be visa could be mastercard just say it like that there's no need for full details on that part you can clearly see it and read it right here it says now uh or maybe you could have used the paypal who knows say paypal anyway next up after that you will require to put in the order number what is your order number now and uh what is the name of the content and the purchase let's say like call of duty black ops 4 whatever right put in the exact date of purchase i would even advise you put in this exact time exact price well as i remember the play in black ops 4 was 69.99 right well doll, uh, euros for me where would you find this information specifically you would receive the same following information when you have pre-ordered the game that you actually want to get a refund you're gonna have to look through your email and find it right when you do that this is what you should see this you can see it right now and uh, there it is anyway <laughs> uh, so you can see the PlayStation uh, the confirmation whenever you purchase something right you always will receive it in your email now here's the order number I'm obviously not going to show it uh, the name the online ID the date and time of pre-order and also the details and here's the unit of the price as well just copy the details of the game name put it in make sure you put it all of the information right here as well as just make sure I just say I want to get a refund for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 or any other game just make sure that it's not like a super old game because like there's just no way you would receive it then guys like for real if you want to get a refund for Grand Theft Auto 5 it's too late sorry to break it to you maybe you want to get a refund for Monster Hunter World sorry again you will not be able to receive that as well because it's too late it's too late now anyway uh guys i think i think i'm done uh after that obviously you just hit send and that's it it's done pretty much anyway i hope you hopefully you have understood what i'm trying to get at and across so you can have a pretty much easier time with this and hopefully you're not going to be having too many questions uh saying oh i don't get this i don't get this and that good stuff Anyway, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. Tell me down in the comments if you have managed to follow through and uh, receive your refund or if you were even eligible for it. But uh, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome day and uh, yeah, have a good one guys. Really appreciate it.